GEVO stock, GEVO Inc. closed the session of the 15th of September 2021 at $6.8, an extension of 4.78%, of, uh, 8.7 .7 million shares crossed the tape during that session. The stock has a market cap of $1.4 billion and about 200 million shares outstanding. Yes, 201.885 billion shares outstanding. The float is about 194 million. So what are we looking at right here? So after that 187, 184 million shares that was associated with the September 9th rally, that was the rally that was also associated with the news that Chevron USA is going to partner with uh, Jivo to produce renewable or bio-friendly aviation fuels. The stock you know, rallied, but we have seen since that time, as a matter of fact, the next trading session, which was the 10th of September, the stock retraced. I think that was even a correction, but all in all, where it is, where it is sitting right now, it has corrected. The good thing about that is that the fundamentals, you know, has always been right, you know. It's just that of late, people have just taken their eyes off the ball, the ball that is the uh, renewable stocks, the uh, ESG stocks, you know, and um, including um, GEVO, uh, GEVO stock as well. So, but the good, good thing, the stock, since that news has extended, it has corrected now, but good thing also, it is just trading uh, not up to one dollar away from its 10 and 20 day moving averages you know it has it has corrected but it never fell below those moving average neither did it fall below the um 50 day moving average but indeed it is trading below the 200 day moving average that moving average is uh, sloping bullishly upwards you know because of the prior gains that uh, uh jivo stock achieved you know so uh, yes i know it's still trading below the on the line uh, uh, trend, which is uh, represented by the 200 day moving average, but at least for the short term moving averages, it is still uh, trading above them. You know, they gave, I think the 10 day moving average gave it some support. So that's some positive, you know, at least, and also presents yet another, another, another opportunity for market participants who didn't buy that uh, rally to get involved, to consider things. You know, the stock has just, you know, slowed down a bit. As a matter of fact, generally it doesn't really trade that. It doesn't trade in very high volumes. The participation, even though it is quite a popular stock in this space, in this uh, renewable space, in this bio-friendly space, you know, it's not doesn't trade that in in very high volumes. That means uh, participation is really not that high as such. You know, so um, so right now it is of late after that um, September 10th uh, pullback. You know, it has just you know moved on gradually. You know. At, from the 11th up to uh, the 15th, it hasn't really been that, that volatile. So, presenting a good good buying opportunity, good opportunity for people to consider what it is they are doing with Jivo, you know. So, yes, all in all, I think it's definitely easily a buy, you know. Right now, it has cooled off a bit, and all the fact that it has actually corrected also pulls put, puts money back, puts pulls back much of those, much of that uh, trade, the trade that is the association with uh, um, Chevron, he pulls it back and presents that opportunity for you to get involved in it if you didn't really get involved, even though it would have been better if um, you bought it uh, at the, um, at least the September 8th price or even before that time, but it's still very much, I mean, right now, you, you can't expect it, you really expect it to pull back any further than that, you know. So it's just a correction, and you know, you know there's a good chance it will continue to extend further, you know. But we, we see the stock gradually inching up beyond $8, at least before the end of October, you know, October this year, you know. So, but you never know what's going to happen, you know. But um, right now, the, the participation is not there, you know, people are, you know, really taking off, uh, their eyes slightly off um, Jiva stock, and it's it is of great interest to market to um, institutional investors. You can see, thirty five percent of um, the shares outstanding are held by those institutions. Institutions, based on what uh, we we are seeing here on uh, Charles Schwab, you know. So moving on, what there isn't really any news as such, you know, concerning um, um, GEVO stock. So we can see momentum is pulling back. This is based on the daily model, it's pulling back. And 
it appears to be improving within a longer term uptrend, although it's uh, presently below its 200, its 200 day moving average. That average is rising due to prior gains in GEV of stock. Additionally, the MACD histogram, which is used to measure the near term trend, is above zero. So uh, it's uh, also outperforming the SP 500. Momentum is um, as measured by the 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is waning. This means that investors are less aggressive in their recent purchases and may even be taking profits from positions but at lower prices. So the volume for, la for the last session was lighter. It, it traded 8.7 million shares versus an average of 19.884 million shares per day during the last 12 months. The unbalanced volume indicator is bullish. The slope of the indicator is positive and suggests that uh, buyers are presently more active than sellers. So you can see the uh, unbalanced volume indicator is indicating that um, it's people are actually buying, but the momentum is uh, indicating something else. And we would expect the momentum to indicate that because the stock rallied. It had a volume of 184 million during that September um, 9th uh, rally. So, and of late, that volume has not reached, it hasn't been the same. It hasn't even been uh, close to anything, 100 million or thereabout. It, sh it dropped sharply. So yes, the momentum will probably reflect a, 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 a less a, a, dec a decline in aggression so that is everything is in line yes and it's just a validation of what's going on as well that rally has taken away people have taken their money out of uh, that rally and they have gone elsewhere but people who love the stock are just gradually coming back and picking up things and trying to move forward okay so we'll continue to update you on GEV stock and thank you very much for watching this video